taking this uh, memory function again and trying to solve some different example suppose uh, i have i'm doing a complex calculation and i have i get answers into three part so the first part gives me an answer of 50 the second part will give me an answer of 70 okay and the third part gives me an answer of say 100 okay now i am supposed to as per the calculation i am supposed to do say addition of the first two and then subtract this final answer how can i do it using only one uh, memory function uh, one button is that i will first go into input the first calculation which is 50 on the calculator which is 50 i will complete that calculation and i will store it in one let me do a quick check if it is already stored yes it is stored so that is done so i have stored it sto1 okay and then i go and do the second part of the calculation which is 70 okay so i have inputted 70 i want to add it back to 50 and store it in the same number one so how do i do it sto plus one okay i will check and recall this this is going to give me 120 so i did sto plus and one why one because it was already stored in one this this gives me that value stored is 120 okay and uh, after that i do my third calculation and get the answer 100 but i want to make sure that whatever i'm getting out of this as a answer i want to subtract it from the value stored in one so i will go and put in sto minus one okay and i will do a recall which will give me 20 answer so i did sto minus one okay this gives me 20 answer so your entire calculation is done by just uh, using one number which is uh, button number one Okay. Let us let us look for one more example, which includes some multiplication or something else, right? So, suppose if I am I have, I'm doing a complex calculation, and the first part of that calculation gives me the value of five. Okay, the second part of the calculation gives me the value of ten. Okay, and third part of the calculation gives me the value of fifty. Okay, and I'm supposed to product it, product all to get the final answer. How do I do it? I'll have to first input 5, which is the answer of my first calculation. I'll put 5 on the screen and let me store it on, let me store it on the second number. Okay, so I'll go and do STO2. Let me quickly check if it is stored. STO2, this is stored. Okay, then I put in the second calculation. And I get the answer of 10 okay I get the uh, answer of 10 and I want to product it to product it to 5 and store it again to 2 itself so how do I do it STO into 2 okay so I what I did is STO into 2 why 2 because the original number 5 is stored into stored in to second number okay let me quickly check what is uh, the value stored okay the final answer that is stored now is 50 that is 5 into 10 okay in the when the value in the book in the number second okay now i do the i'll do the third calculation and get, i'll get the answer of uh, 15 okay let me input that value 15 i did that calculation i got the answer and i want to do a product again to the value stored in the second so i'll do, go and do sto into second and let me do a quick check and see okay it becomes 750 so i did what sto into second and i got the answer of 750 so again i completed the calculation but i am using different operator as product because in the previous uh, example we were doing addition right so uh, this this was the second example let let's let's quickly go towards the uh, third example which will help us understand uh, if suppose we are doing some uh, other operator which is minus okay so i'm again taking an example that i am 
uh, do, doing a complex calculation which gives me the first part uh, as an answer of uh, 100 okay second part as an answer of 30 and third part as an answer of 10 okay and i want to uh, subtract all of them okay and get the final answer how do how do i do it i'll have to do the first calculation and get the answer of 100 let me put that calculation of 100 okay and i will i'll uh, store it to say 1 so I have, I have already stored that first calculation to first number and then i'm going ahead and doing the second calculation i get the answer of 30 okay so i have inputted 30 on the, on the calculator but i want to subtract this from the first calculation which is stored in number one so i'll do sto minus one okay so i will do sto minus one and i will try to see recall one and i get an answer of 70 stored in that so that operation has been completely successfully done now the third calculation that i'm doing i get the answer of 10 okay so i will input that calculation 10 and i want to subtract it again from the value which is stored in number one so i will go and do sto minus one so that will be sto minus one and if i go and check what is the value that is stored in in the first part that is 60 that is 10 less than your 70 so your final answer is 60. so this is the third calculation that we did using a different operator which is minus i am doing the final calculation with, uh, with the help of an operator divide okay so how do i do it suppose i am doing one more of complex calculation and i get three different answers okay suppose the first answer is 10 okay that i that i get the second answer is 5 okay and the third answer is and I want to divide okay I want to divide uh, the uh, outcomes and get the final answer suppose I want to do that how do I do it I'll first have to put in the first calculation which is 10 okay and I will have to store it to some number let me store it to 7 okay so I have stored it to 7 and then I go and uh, take the second calculation which is 5 so I have got five number and I'm doing it STO divide seven. Okay, so I am doing STO divide seven because the earlier number was stored in, in seven. And let me recall and see what is the value that is stored in seven. That is two because 10 divided by five is two. Now let me take the third calculation which is 2, third calculation which is 2, so I will put it to value 2 and I want it, the, this number to be divide, dividing the value which is stored in 7. So I will do STO divide 7 and okay, I will do recall 7. Okay, one second, it has, uh, yeah, so let me repeat. So number is 2, I've done STO, divide 7, let me recall which one, right? So STO, divide 7, I get the answer 1. That is because the original number was also stored as 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So this example shows us that uh, how, how we can simplify our calculation uh, by do by using one number itself one number to save the data and get um, use memory function extensively because this will help us to reduce our dependency on numbers in, in different uh, complex calculations.